You know, Ottawa is a, is a, is a great town. We know they love sports here. Um, you know, I think what's going to be critical, and I'm, I'm confident in the ownership group here because they've already shown some creativity and, uh, and they're willing to, to take some risks in terms of, you know, marketing their team. They've already shown that. Um, I think that, you know, for us, having a team in the nation's capital is important. Um, I think having a team with this proximity to what eventually we're confident will be another team back in Quebec, uh, hopefully next season, to hopefully stoke some rivalry there is also critical as well. Uh, basketball is a popular game here. Uh, I think that the passion uh, of, of, of fan here for basketball uh, you know, will be palpable. We want to give them the, the, the mechanism for them to come out and, and show that passion. I know the university teams have, have done well here in terms of winning championships. Uh, I don't know necessarily if they have done uh, a great job in terms of driving fans to the games. The challenge in Ottawa will be to drive fans to the game. We know they love basketball here. We know basketball is the most popular sport among young people in this country. Uh, Ottawa and the Skyhawks are going to have to drive fans in because once they get in, we're confident they're going to like what they see. So. Different markets have different challenges. Uh, some markets are, are, are doing extremely well. Uh, other markets are, are, are getting there. Um, Ottawa is new. Uh, when you're new, it's always uh, you know, tough to, to get your brand out there. But I think from what I've seen thus far, I'm confident that ownership will, will be able to get that done. Yeah, uh, you know, absolutely. That, is something we want. We want more Canadian players in our in our league. I mean, this year, as you know, our number one pick this year was a as a Canadian player, and that was great for us. Uh, currently, about sixty three percent of the league has uh, Division One NCAA uh, experience. Now, some of them are Canadian, but most of them are are still from the United States. What's most important for us is to put the best basketball players on the floor. Uh, we want more Canadian players, and some of them are the best, so they're in the league. But uh, right now, we want to make sure that when someone comes to our game, they're seeing the absolute best talent that we can get. I think our league gives high-level players an opportunity to play close to home. If you're from the United States or from Canada, you know, I think you'd much rather play here than to, say, go to Italy or go to Croatia or go to Germany to, to play your trade. What the NBL do, Canada does is offer you that high-level competition in front of your friends and family where they can see you and they can watch your career as they, as they did in university. So, um, you know, part of the goal is to be a, uh, a place where Canadian talent can be displayed, but most urgently, our league is to put the very best players in the world, some of them anyway, uh, in front of our fans. You know, we'd like to see uh, the fan base grow in, in the communities that we've already established ourselves. Uh, St. John, uh, Moncton, Halifax, uh, London, uh, Windsor. Um, for the new uh, areas coming on, you know, the Brampton, the Mississauga, and Ottawa, we'd like to see them establish a foothold as well. Um, in terms of success, you know, once again, we just want to consistently put on a good show in all our venues and all our games. That's what's successful for us. We, we think if we consistently do that, uh, marketing the programs with the owners and the league, eventually we will be able to get people to come into to the games and we're once again confident once they come in, they'll be hooked on our, our product. But, you know, in terms of sheer success, it's not necessarily about numbers of teams and and, and expansion and television deals. That's not it. That will all come because we're here to stay. It's not a fly-by-night organization we're running. We're going to be here for a while. And those things will come. But before we get to those things, we have to make sure the franchises that we have now thrive. We have to make sure that they become a part of the community, um, You know that fans can touch the players. They're not seen as these aloof elite athletes that are disengaged. You know, in our program, in our league, we make the players accessible so the fans can touch them, they can see them. They're out there in the community. They're involved with charities uh, consistently. They're in schools. And being a part of the community is what's going to help and grow, grow our fan base. So these are some of the urgent things that, that we strive to do as a league in general.